Well, today we're going to have some fun as we take a look at some hybrid utility pry bar tools as we explore the new Gerber pry Brid series with their pry Brid utility and the pry Brid X tools. <laughs> Well, folks, I want to welcome you back to another video. I am Aaron, and I'm glad to be with you here today. We're going to have some fun with these brand new tools that have just recently hit the market from Gerber. And they are a hybrid system. And I love that little play on words, the pry -brid. Uh, and their larger utility knife, their smaller Prybrid X tools, and just see what they have to offer. These are inexpensive utility knives that run on two different types of utility blades that we're gonna look at that have pry bar, pry bar ends to them with bottle lifters. So we're gonna have some fun just doing a couple little quick tests with them, showing you what their capabilities are, if there are any drawbacks to the, the designs, and are these something that you know have some value in maybe an EDC kit, maybe uh, in your work belt, or in your everyday just carrying living. So let's dive in and take a look at these Gerber Prybrid tools. Well guys, we're just gonna have fun. If you're watching this video, you're probably like me, you were really intrigued by this. Cheap price point, it's got a lot of features and it's got options that my other tools in my EDC rotation don't necessarily have. I don't really have a pry bar um, option right now. Uh, I don't have all of the, quite the features and particularly this smaller pry braid X that we're gonna look at first. I don't have, quite have anything like this and this might be a good option to use as my general utility knife and then maybe I have you know cold steel recon one or something uh, or a Gerber you know auto 06 or something and that's you know my heavy duty folder that I'm using you know for for heavy duty you know knife related tasks but let's get real for 90% of our EDC tasks that you and I will run into in our daily living can easily be handled by either utility knife or a number 11 exacto knife and that's what the Prybrid X has on it. Now the this little guy is going to be about an inch razor sharp. Uh, you can buy like a pack of 10 of these blades for like seven bucks on Amazon. So very inexpensive to replace. Uh, that's a benefit as well. You don't have to resharpen stuff. You just swap it out when it gets dull and you're ready to rock and roll. Now to um, get the blade out, you just depress this nice jimped out little button there. Strong. You just depress that. It slides open and it hits its first stop and you're able to use the blade. Then if you need to replace it, you depress the button again, slide it all the way out. Very easy to remove the blade and put a new one in. And then you just depress and kind of seat it back in and you're ready to rock and roll. So you don't, I've never accidentally like overcome that second stop and had it go all the way out like that. Uh, now, what's really cool is that it does have torque screws and both of these will have torque screws so you can completely take the, the tool apart if you ever did get gunk and grit in the tracks. So that's a good bonus right there as well. So great. I mean, it's an it's exacto knife, number 11 exacto knife. So, I mean, uh, it's basically a little scalpel that you got there to do all of your little precision cuts and things like that. Now, the body itself is aluminum. The pry bar core that you'll see on both of these is stainless steel. So very tough, durable, good stuff there um, in that regard. Now, this is going to be four inches long. It's going to be 1.3 ounces in weight, and it's going to be 0 0.3 inches thick. That steel core right there does have some nice jimping that's not super heavy on either side there. And it's going to be with that, again, that four inches. I wear large size gloves. I can easily grab that guy. It's about a three th finger. My pinky can kind of like stabilize the back there. Uh, and then if I really want to get up, then I can kind of rest my finger right there and do the precision cutting that I need to do. And it's fun. I mean, it gets the job done. It's very easy to use. Then on the back end here, we do have that pry tool uh, that you could use in a pinch on some flatheads, uh, screwdrivers, depending on how thick, or screws, depending on how thick they are. Uh, but you can do it, you know, nail pulling, prying, and then you do have that bottle lifter for your beverages. So that's all nice, zero complaints there. They do offer different color combinations for both the larger pry braid utility as well as the smaller pry braid X. Um, on the aluminum and on the paracord that comes with this little paracord that you can, you know, again, throw on a lanyard for a keychain, uh, throw it in your coin pocket, you know, throw it, you know, on your belt, whatever you would want to do with that. But there are some color combinations out there and it will come with that little paracord. If you didn't want that, you could obviously, um, you know, take that off. And then there is a lanyard hole right back there. So aluminum little body contoured really well. And then that stainless steel core, really lightweight. Uh, and, I, you know, I'm considering, hey, should I just throw this on my keychain? And 
simple example of how this pry braid is a great little accent tool to say like a tactical heavy duty folder which isn't great for precision but this little exacto knife on the pry braid x is now i kind of use that as my little um you know non-intimidating utility knife and then i got my bigger folder for other activities that i may need that this little guy can't handle now with the pry braid itself um, a utility tool what we get is eight different tools there are a couple different aspects to it or compared to the pry braid x uh, it's obviously larger this is going to run on g10 and then again we have the stainless steel core basically that the pry bar is attached to and that the track kind of um, runs on similar concept when the blade is inside you just press down push it's gonna hit that first catch, you use it, and then if you did need to replace the blade, you just fully extend it and then depress it again and bring it back in and swap it out. Now, you're gonna have your bottle lifter again. You have a larger pry bar, a larger uh, scraper. You do have what they call a small flathead and large flathead screwdriver. As I've said earlier, not quite convinced that those are very useful. You can do them in a pinch in with particularly large screws and things like that, but um, they're not necessarily something I'm gonna, oh, I can do most you know screws. Eh, not, not really. Uh, you do then have this really nice, which does work when the blade is enclosed, either wire stripper or cord cutter. That's pretty sweet, functions well in that regard. And then the nice thing is obviously that it does have that G10 body. And then you do have the screws. So again, if there was you ever got gunk in the track, you can easily unscrew that, take it all apart. Now the G10 is nice and rounded. Again, I wear large size gloves fits my hand very well. There are no sharp angles. I can really bear down on this thing. I can really get some leverage with the pry tools and do what needs to be done. And I really do like that aspect to it. The nice jimping there. You can get these in a couple different color combinations as well. The dimensions on this bad boy are gonna be, uh, it's going to have a width of 1.25 inches high. You're looking at four and a quarter inches long. It's gonna weigh 2.9 ounces and have a thickness of 0.4. It does have just a really cool utilitarian feel to it. it has Gerber there on the back. Um, now, this is the only critique that I have, particularly with this model, the Prybrid Utility. This thing screams for a pocket clip. I don't know why they didn't do a pocket clip. You can obviously throw a lanyard through their hole right there is what it's designed for. But man, if this had a pocket clip, like my little Husky Utility knife here, thin it's loop over you know wouldn't cause a lot of problems they could have easily you know had it mounted through these screws or just had a separate one i mean man that would really take it to the next level as it stands it still is usable i can absolutely use it you know throw it on a lanyard throw it in it will fit inside my coin you know fifth pocket on a pair of jeans something like that um, and you could you know there are some uh, companies out there that do make like adhesively backed um, uh, pocket clips that you can, you know, adhere to things uh, that you could maybe, you know, uh, just kind of file down, sand down the G10 slightly, and then adhere to the back, and that would probably work in a pinch if you want, did really want the pocket clip. But man, that would have just taken it to like level 10 if this larger version had a pocket clip on there. Uh, the G10 texturing, I would say, is medium to light. It's not heavy duty traction uh, as well. I just wanted to touch on that. The teeth kind of help give you that, that extra traction for the prying or cutting that you would need. So very cool, it gives me a lot of features. The only drawback being that it doesn't have a pocket clip. All right, folks, let's hit price with you. I went over and purchased both of these. I spent $19.99 on the Prybrid X and $22.99 on the Prybrid Utility. Uh, and at that price point, I would say it's kind of middle of the road. I'm gonna show you some competitive options. Uh, that are available to give you food for thought that are all either the same price or cheaper. Um, now you can spend $150 on a custom utility knife, you know, made out of titanium and cool colors and some G10 and things out there. So I think it's a happy median. It is a little bit more expensive than just a straight up utility knife. So you have to ask yourself, are these extra features with the pry bar and the bottle lifter something that you need? Are you really not gonna use that? Um, so food for thought there. We will have links for you guys over to Amazon, Blade HQ, GP Knives. We appreciate when you purchase through those hyperlinks that we offer to you as well as over to you know, 511 and Mystery Ranch and Knockaround Sunglass Company, all those, we really appreciate it. And I wanna give a shout out to my PayPal 
uh, supporters. You guys are awesome. You help me go out, buy content just like this. So gear like this, so I can give you content and give you guys um, data on gear that you might be interested in. So with that, some other competitive options here for you. Uh, this is also a Gerber tool. Um, I can't remember. I think this is the EAB, if I remember correctly, light. It's gonna run you about 10 bucks. Now what's cool about this is that it has a, a two thirds exposed um, utility knife. So you're gonna have more cutting edge to work with than on either of these pry brids, which is kind of nice. It does have a kind of satin slim look to it. It has a liner lock. Uh, you do have to have a screwdriver to replace or like a coin to unscrew that if you do need to swap or replace the blade. The nice thing is that it's really kind of low profile, slim, and does come with a nice pocket clip. Uh, so it you can be used more as like a pocket knife. Uh, and again, that's why I really wish the Pry uh, Utility, Pry Bread Utility had a pocket clip. I think there would be way, uh, even more versatility, you know, if, you, if they had come with that. You can use this as a money clip or carry it in your pocket. Much nicer to carry maybe to the office. You know, you don't need to spend $200 on a gentleman folder. You can just carry this little uh, Gerber and will do all that same similar stuff and isn't maybe as intimidating as, you know, this big old honking thing when you're going to your, you know, accounting job or something like that. So that is an option for about $10. Uh, I also have here an Outdoor Edge Sidewinder, another option that, again, uh, one side is polymer, one side is stainless steel, but it has a pocket clip. So again, it can go fit in your coin pocket, things like that. This pocket clip would have easily fit on either the Prybrid X or um, the um, Prybrid Utility. So again, gives more versatility, comes with a lanyard hole, your razor blade, um, and then it does have an actual little Phillips head as well as flat screwdriver there. Uh, and then you can collapse it and it does have a little um, bottle cap opener, lid lifter. Now the downside to this though, is that the spring uh, is not, and the locking mechanism is not super strong. You can do minor utility. This, these, both these pry brids are way tougher for not only prying, but the locking mechanisms are a lot stronger. This thing, I've overcome the locking mechanism a couple times and it's accidentally sprung back into the handle without me even touching the button. So that's kind of a downer that, but that will be about 11 or $12. I do have here the Boker Mini Tech. Uh, pocket knife. Now they have a couple different versions. You can get it just with the blade or in my case, I bought it with the blade, but then it came with also a uh, bottle cap opener, uh, safety cutter and a uh, flathead and depending on the size of the Phillip head screwdriver. Now that's about 25 bucks. So uh, very similar in price point. Now nowhere near as heavy duty. And this will come with a Sandvik um, 12 seat uh, 27 steel. So a decent steel, Chinese made though, just like the these Gerbers. Um, and maybe that's a better option, you know, that, that Swiss Army knives or of this Boker Tech, you know, or something like that might be a better option than one of these utility knives. It just depends on how you're thinking you're gonna use them. Is, are you looking for something that heavy duty that can pry, or are you looking for something that's more compact and easy to carry on a keychain or in a little pocket? It's a little bit more than what we're seeing compared to the other competitive options we talked about, but I obviously paid for it and I'd do it again uh, and purchase them as gifts, you know, if I knew someone would get a lot of use out of it. Guys, that's it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video showing you what these tools can do, whether or not they are worth investing in and putting in your regular rotation or not. That's what I always want to do here when we look at content like this is give you the data so you can make that wise choice on whether or not it's a good tool or gear item to throw in your system. So uh, as always, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media, throwing up content there all the time. You can check out the other video popping up. Subscribe if you're not a current subscriber we're throwing up content like this all the time and always remember stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there